So it's the end of 2019 and the baby took over. He's got a specific way of making impact through music and growing his fan base. We call it the blow up loop. And if you want to know exactly what that means and how it can work for your rap career, then pay close attention to this video we just put together. All right, let's go. Single after single, video after video, album after album, the baby keeps coming back with something fresh. He's a revolutionary rapper, and this is why he's on top. If you click this video, you obviously know who the baby is. So plug in your headphones, turn up the volume, and tell your friends to shut up. I'm about to tell you the key to the baby's success. All right, you ready? He did it all by applying a specific pattern to everything he makes. For now, let's call it the blow up loop. It's a game plan that reveals itself in circular fashion, moving faster and faster. By any chance, are you a rapper with a small following or are you starting from scratch? Either way, you gotta use the blow up loop to, well, blow up. Here's a simple version you can draw on your notebook. Create, connect, benefit, then reinvest. Think about it like this. Make music, make fans, make sales, and then buy stuff and hire talent that'll help you make more music. Now it's one thing to know what this cycle is, but it's a whole nother thing to know how to use it. The baby's got a couple of different blow up loops, so let's start by taking a look at his business loop. He makes catchy, short music that you gotta run back a few times. After the multiple plays pay off, he reinvests money to make new music at a faster rate. The media loves his success story, artists respect his work ethic, and fans are happy being bombarded with new music and antics. Take note, he can loop in almost anyone. This was his mode from the beginning. The baby spent his adolescence living the street life, but one day he woke up and decided to give the rap game a try, and he put the blow up loop into action. First he bought a bunch of recording equipment and dropped freestyles on popular beats. I know I'm a cancer, it's been fucking with my mama. Yeah, 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 I don't use my bank account, I count too many commas. Yeah, yeah. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. Uh, I whoop an egg and I can put a tank. This led to him gaining popularity in social media, which brought him attention from local rappers. These rappers included him on live shows, which he would then use to gain more fans by impressing the crowd. As his fan base increased, so did his music output. The baby's method for success can be measured easily on the surface. In the early days, his earnings from music were reinvested back into himself. He hired a street team to pass out promo materials, befriended DJs to play his music in clubs, bought drum machines and gave them to friends so they could make him beats, and used every opportunity to market himself. However, the foundation of his successful business loop is another loop, his creative loop. The baby creates music that effectively connects to many specific groups. Old heads get behind his lyrical complexity, new heads bop to his flow. He knows attention spans are lower than ever. So in this loop process, each song is designed to grab and hold your attention, then leave you wanting more. He jumps into the beat immediately with catchy hooks and digs into punchlines and closes his songs early with a revisit to the chorus. His songs adhere to a strict format. They're catchy, smart, and short in that order. You're compelled to run it back. The more you listen, the more you want another one. And that's when he drops a new track. And you're going for another trip around the loop. His videos do the same thing. The playful visuals, the extra song teasers. He's included concert dates to build up hype for the next gig. This is all super organic, so you're never overwhelmed by the baby. Now that you're getting more familiar with the pattern, can you guess what's next? Yeah, that's right. It's the foundation of his creative loop and that would be his personal loop. Let's dive in. The baby's original title was Big Baby Jesus. Yeah, it sounds like a funny, catchy joke, except it wasn't. He chose the name because it represented the belief he held in himself. Having faith that you can rise to the challenge is a major part of being a musician. This belief led to the motivation to succeed, and his success fed into his motivation. The baby has a personality worth revisiting, these strong character traits made him stand out in his hometown of Charlotte, North Carolina. Not too many rappers come from there, so his lane was wide open. Take this moment to think about your lane. Is it wide open? But in the end, people can get confused easily, so why complicate things? His name later became The Baby, still an important and meaningful moniker. He's the baby of his family, so his place in life is accurately reflected in his stage name, even in satire when he wears a diaper. Okay, now you might be thinking that these loops sound nice, but is this for real? I mean, does the baby have any flaws as a person? Has he ever failed? Not really, and I don't think he will anytime soon. He turns anything into a personal benefit for him. 
it's a marketing loop. For example, the Walmart shooting. No one has been charged in last night's deadly shooting that happened inside the Walmart in Huntersville. In more breaking news tonight at 5, police have identified the man shot and killed inside a Huntersville Walmart as 19-year-old Jalen Craig. He's able to leverage threats on his life as promo. You didn't even get that far. Nah, that's what I say. That ain't how it happened when you sit in the parking lot. That ain't oh, so it was in Walmart? Yes. When random dudes try to G-check him, he magnificently de-escalates the situation without being submissive or confrontational. We signed up for Mr. Slip. Ain't nobody signed up for Mr. Slip for me. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh, yeah. I ain't know that. Okay. Get this. The other day, his jet broke down when he was trying to fly to his hometown for a concert. We get on this pretty jet, right? Big boy jet. This is the big boy. Engine light came on. Did he let this stop him? No way. He put the loop into action and did the concert over FaceTime. Okay, look, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? That got me stuck as you look on your dad. Because his fans love his dedication, the media loved the story. The baby used this whole situation to blow up even more. The baby is calm and calculated in altercations because he understands people very well. He faces controversy in stride and uses media attention to hype his music. The baby dropped two full length albums this year. Multiple albums within a short period is a strategy that's growing more popular with each new upcoming artist. As you're beginning to see, you can increase the chances of blowing up by applying multiple connected loops. You want to know something? I uncovered this whole loop system while researching the baby, and it made me realize this one key insight. Reaching a successful outcome isn't the end of a project's life cycle. It's the middle. The true goal is to invest that success into a new, evolved project. Felipe and I have done some pretty funky stuff. We faked the Cause collabo, worked with some crazy talented musicians to remake Chance the Rapper's album, and we're about to collaborate with the artists in our audience on an Ass Pizza inspired jacket. But most of our projects finish at an end point instead of turning into forward investments. Now that we learned from the baby, we're gonna put the loop to use. Please take some time to analyze some of your previous work and see if it aligns with the blow up loop. Okay, you still with me? Now, just like I studied the baby to get ahead, I'm sure the baby learned this method from his inspirations. See, he's not the first rapper with a marketing focused approach, but he sure has his formula down. You've seen this kind of thing before. Remember Mike Jones? Mike Jones. He would constantly shout out his own name and phone number to get people talking. You Soldier Boy was practically born through social media and ringtones and still keeps in touch with his loyal fan base. 50 Cent's marketing hustle was almost religious. His street life bled into music, which he would amplify in the media and countless other platforms and projects. It doesn't stop with rappers though. The baby's videos remind me of the early days of OK Go's mesmerizing viral videos. He's prolific, like Casey Neistat. But of all the people he reminds me of, there's one musician that bears a strong creative resemblance. Redman. Redman. Through the 90s and the 2000s, Redman was that dude. He has a tough, authentic exterior, but a charismatic personality. He's got bars. I can't really put my finger on why Redman is so dope. He just has so much to offer. I've never met anyone who dislikes Redman. And so far, I haven't met anyone who hates the baby. They're both so versatile and relatable because they're both very true to themselves. Okay, but what does that mean for us? And how can we get people to stop staring at the screen and start using the blow up loop? All right, I got an idea. If you make music, here's your chance. Pay close attention and don't f this up. I need you to make a song that's designed with a blow up loop. It has to be about a minute and a half long and you have to integrate the push product logo chime into it. It's at the beginning of this video in case you forgot. Create a song that's inspired by this video. As you build it, double check if the song lines up with the methods that we've explained in this video. Make sure your formula is just right. All done? Send it to us and we'll promote it on Push Products, the baby inspired playlist. If you make our favorite song on the playlist, we'll feature you in an upcoming video. In all our videos, we shout out a cool upcoming artist that deserves some shine. 
for this episode. It's all about Ego Bird. He's a young, manic voice that's tearing it up right now. Laughing beats. Bouncy flow. Go check this young man's music and remember to send us yours. Now that you've got a mission to accomplish, it's time to think about what you just learned from the baby. One, be quick and digestible. Your work should hit hard and fast and leave people wanting more. Two, make your own publicity. There's 10 million ways to promote yourself. Do all of them. Three, power your own momentum. Build your next moves off your previous moves. The baby uses the blow up loop to reinvest into himself for larger returns. He's built a system that works for him, and very soon it's gonna run on autopilot. Now rewatch this video, take notes, listen to the baby, and go blow up. That's what it means to push product. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Do you like it? Good. We like making it, and we'd really like it if you hit up our Patreon page and broke off some donations. Click the link in the description and buy you some knowledge. Feeling like Skrillex, cause I told that little bitch to d d d d drop the bass Boy, bang, huh. run off with your shit, you niggas throw hands But we bladed in this bitch, I'll win my time to send me out to Apollo Force it with my cholos, you don't want problems with Apollo Gucci and Louis and the model Lucifer Shoot up all the head, go to do it like a curse I don't fuck with dogs, I don't fuck with dogs